Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So I'm just coming on to do some very quick embellishments for the projects I'm working on at the moment. Um, so uh, this idea is not mine. Um, I saw Tanya from Teddy Treasure a long, long time ago and she makes these quite a lot, where she basically builds up, you know, a little cluster of things and uh, we're just going to make some little embellishments like this. So uh, definitely check out Tanya's channel if you've not come across her before. Um, but this is kind of like my interpretation of what she does. So um, I've raided my box of goodies that I use uh, for fussy cuts and things. So I've just pulled out a bunch of stuff like this where they're tickets, vellum sheets, stickers, little bits of card, stuff like that, which I think can be part of clusters. Um, I've got various things like this where they're little like pictures from books and from uh, scrapbooking kits, which again, on their own, they're not really anything. I've got a couple of stickers in there, a little bird on that one. Just little stuff like this, little um, picture things, uh, which I thought could be part of it. I've got some postage stamps. And then I've got some bigger things as well, so I might make some some big ones. Um, we'll sort of see see what happens. Um, aside from, you know, using this as a guide, I guess, um, I don't really have a plan, but I do want to get as much of this stuff used. So I'm just kind of go with it and see what happens and go from there, really. So I want to keep things really, really easy. So what I'm thinking is to use a stapler. That's what I'm thinking. But I just want to get like a little, little cluster of things really. So I'm thinking with this one, I'm going to staple those together. And then where we have the staple, I'm going to add a picture. So I'm just going to get the bases done. Um, and go from there really, that's what I'm thinking I'll do. Uh, I'm not inking anything at this point, try and make sure I don't do everything on the same side. Um, because I can ink after, but yeah, I'm just going to use the, the stapler. So for example on this one, um, I might put like a word or a label or something on it. So let's just go through mass make style <laughs> and uh, get some bases ready. I don't want them all to look exactly the same, so I'm going to try my hardest to kind of change it up a little bit here and there. But I do want these to be easy. So, there we go. So, I hope you're all doing well. I realise that I kind of just dove straight into it again. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> so, that's the reason for that. Oh, that went a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, the good thing with the staple as well is that you can slightly adjust it if you get it in the wrong place. So I'm going to make quite a few of these, I imagine. And again, I'm trying to remind myself not to have everything on the same side. This one, I'm just going to trim down a little bit. I don't think I need it to be as big as that. Then, of course, I have the issue with uh, <laughs> not the straightest of cutting, but that's fine. And then I'm just going to chop off the, the word at the bottom. I know it says what plant it is, um, but I just want that to fit the, the vellum a bit a bit better. There we go. So this one might... Um, ooh, don't staple your finger. <laughs> this one might take like a butterfly or something. As I say, I'm just getting the, the bases done. But yeah, I do, I do like this kind of embellishment, nice and quick, and uh, they do look really nice when you have them on a page, and they don't take up a huge amount of room, so you could have it on, um, you know, like a writing page, uh, quite, quite easily, um, sort of thing, you know, with still being able to, to write just fine in the background and not messing up the piles. I just wanted to make sure that I got a few a few different kinds really. So just to change it up I might add a couple to this one and then maybe I could add like a, 
a number label to it or something. And yeah, as you can tell, I'm trying to get this vellum used up um, because it's been in my stash a long time and I never really know what to do with this kind of kind of thing. I never really know what you're supposed to do with vellum, these little things. So, you know, this is this is as good as an idea as what I can think of. Okay, so that's a bunch of those vellums used. Oh, I've got I've got more vellum. Oh goodness me. See what I mean? <laughs> I must have had an entire book of it or something. So, as I said, they're not finished. We will add some more stuff to them. But I thought you might like to, to see the idea. And, you know, if you haven't come across Tanya's channel, you might not have um, seen this idea before. Um, let's use some of these stamps if I can. So this is a, a cardstock one. So I'm thinking... <clears throat> In the back of my mind, I'm thinking this could be a tuck spot if I wanted it to be. So. If I go there, and then I'm thinking, I'm trying to think where to put the staple so that I can hide it with them. Um, oh yeah, let's do that. You know, what am I going to put on it that's going to hide the, the staple? So, yeah, I'm thinking if I go down here, I'll be able to put like a, a word or something on them. But it's a great way, definitely a great way to get all your bits and bobs used up that kind of accumulate, don't they? You end up with lots of, lots of stuff and um, it can be difficult to know what to do with them sometimes. Um, what am I looking for? Something like that again. If I pop that there, and then I'm thinking I could add a butterfly to this one. So essentially that is just the, the base, the background, and then if you imagine a big, nice butterfly on it. So I'll go for about 10 minutes doing the bases, um, because as I say, it is much the, the same thing over and over again. Um, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then, <laughs> and then I, I might do some off screen, depends what we get done. Um, what if we try, I haven't done very many that are like, well there we go, let's pop that one like so. So again, if you imagine a word across there, it's just a very simple embellishment, but it gets stuff used. What else have we got? Um, I've got a ticket, I think I would have it that way. Yeah, lovely. gonna pop him on there a little postage stamp so again if you imagine a word or a label across the bottom uh, but yeah I love how quick and easy they are right what have we got I've got this what can I put with you oops mm-hmm and we want a little a little something I've got a little can't pick things up. So some of these things are stickers, other things are, you know, just as I say, pictures from books and different things. Yeah, I'll do a little fan on that one. A little, little fan of stuff. <laughs> um, and yeah, as I said, I'm sort of with this type of thing. I think it goes that way. Um, you know, don't don't overthink it too much if you can if you can avoid it. Um, because you know they're not they're not finished until you add the little pieces that we're going to add to them. So uh, so that's been about ten minutes. So and I think I've sort of vaguely run out of things. So I'm just going to have a look at a couple of these larger ones and see 
see if I can do anything with these. So, what do we want? Just trying to decide whether to. Oh, that's, oh I don't really want to cover up the um, nice cursive writing, you see. So, I think I'll go that way and then I won't be covering it up as much. And then we can just pop that in there because otherwise I'm never going to get a chance to use it. And then I think if I pop the staple there, yeah, what I'm thinking is uh, I, I might add a stamp or something down there just to cover up that staple. So that's a bigger one. Can we get another big one? Uh, these are from one of my my digitals I've got on my Patreon. I will eventually get around to having them on um, having them on Etsy or buy me a coffee or something just for for those who just want that. Um, I just keep running out of time to be honest. But yeah, I do need to sit down and do it. No. We'll be down to the last, last dregs now. <laughs> oh, I've got a little circle there. What, what, what would that do? Nope. I mean, this, in fairness, could be just a piece on its own, really, couldn't it? So I won't bother with that. And let's see if we can get something else from here. Um, yeah, let's go with that one. So again, if you imagine like a stamp or a label or something. All right, so I think that's probably about as much as I'm going to... I'll do that one as well. Okay, so that's my bases. So let's pop that away. I have got a lot here. <laughs> More than I thought, 12 minutes, not bad. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get a few things. Let me just move that a second because I want some more postage stamps. Oops, sorry if I jog you. Let me pop you back. So let's do the Let's try this one first. And if you don't like the, the staple, if it's too wiggly, you know, because you can kind of do that, um, you could just put some glue behind. Um, it's just the staple allows you to get the stuff in, um, you know, rather than trying to balance everything in your hand and stuff, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure what colour to go for. Yeah, let's go with the green. So pop that down and then that will cover up the staple. So yeah, I'll just go for, you know, 20 minutes or so decorating them up. Um, so again, I think I'm going to want a word or a label, so I'm going to put that to one side because I'll do, I'll do it mass make style, I'll do it all together. I think that'll be the easiest thing. Just trying to decide whether to. I'm really liking the stamps. I'm liking how they're looking. And as you can probably see from my little pot, I've got a whole horde of them. I've got loads. So that covers up the staple then, and then that's still a background. So pop that one there. That's just on its own. So I hope this is, you know giving you some ideas of some stuff you can do. Um, I won't put I won't put stamps on all of them. I'll do something else in a minute. <laughs> Just um thought whilst I've got them here. Okay, I think for that one I'm thinking thinking word or label so I'll do that in a minute um, I think most of these are going to be 
words and labels. Okay, so it looks like we're done with the stamps for now. Right, I don't know how many labels and words and things I've actually got ready to go, so let's, uh, let's see what we can get from my bits and bobs. Okay, now these ones I will ink. And as I said, I might add butterflies to some of them as well. So this would be a nice little like corner piece. So yeah, I think that's going to want a butterfly. So butterfly. And butterfly on that one. I know I'm going quick, by the way. Um, you know, I appreciate that. I'm going a little bit quick. Um, thinking if it's not a label I could maybe add a I think butterfly <laughs> and I think I'm thinking word for this one so let me see grab all my words have I got something Where would I want this? Mm. Nope, not feeling it, so that's going to want a butterfly. Right, what's next? What have we got? We've got this, so... I'm going to pop that there. Just keeping an eye on the time. So it's early in the morning, I say it's early in the morning, it's before nine o'clock, which for me is early. <laughs> I don't normally, I don't normally come on to film this sort of time, but well, I just felt like getting on with it today. Oops. I've done a lot of videos and crafting and things over the, uh, over the weekend. So again, I think Butterfly is going to want added. Liking how easy, easy these are. Definitely. And I'm trying to remind myself, you know, it might be that I might add stuff to them, you know, when I come ready to, to use them. I don't necessarily need to completely finish them all now, but I do like that, so. Um, you know, sometimes you'll put something on a page or a pocket or wherever you're putting it, and then, you know, you might want to add words and labels and things then rather than than right now so I think I'll I'll do that with that one and then again I think possibly <laughs> you guessed it butterfly so this one's already got butterflies so we want a little a little thing I think I could probably do with, um, you know, printing out my labels in smaller sizes. I think I could probably do with a few more bits to play with. <laughs> but it feels good to have all the bases done at least. Even if I don't get them all decorated right this minute. You see, very simple. Very, very simple. Yep, so if this doesn't want a number, I think that's going to want a butterfly. Oh, goodness me. That was me saying to myself, oh, I won't put butterflies on everything. I can't help myself. I really can't. Yep, I like that. So I'll do a few more and then we'll get some of these butterflies on because I have a feeling I probably need to uh, cut some butterflies out actually. Something like that. I think that one was probably, probably finished. Right, can we use some words yet? <laughs> You know, 
as I say, I mean, there's only so many things you can do with all these little bits. Um, and so, you know, following this sort of idea, I think, is, is definitely a good way, good way to do it. Oh, um, where was that one where I did ah, this little, like, fan thing? Yeah, I think I'm going to put that on there because I keep trying to use this. <laughs> and so I'm just going to get on and put it on this one. There we go. I mean, do you have any ideas what I could do with these little vellum pieces? Because, you know, obviously this is a good idea, but I've got so many more. You know, I can't do this with absolutely all of them. I mean, I could, you know, but yeah. What ideas have you got over these little vellum pieces? <laughs> Share them with me because I haven't got a clue. Um, or if you know somebody that's, you know, done something cool with them. Uh, yeah, please do. Please do share. Um, I'm just looking for a word. Sorry, I know I'm off, off to the side here. Oops. Well, I'm dropping words. Oh no. <laughs> I'm looking for something that will go with the dragonfly because I've got a lot of botanical words on my desk, but I haven't really got anything that's more sort of just generally, generally a word. So oh, let me get out this one. Oops. Don't knock things over. There we go. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. What have we got? Got moment. No, it's a bit too boxy. Beauty. Let's go with beauty. These will just be from, you know, books, book, books. Probably a children's book with that size font. There we go. How are we doing? Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing quite well for time. Not too shabby, um, but I do want to get those ones finished with the butterflies so you can see how they how they turn out. So what was I saying? I was saying um, because of the the earliness <laughs> of the time, um, you have to excuse me if I'm a little bit little bit quiet um, I'm just waking up <laughs> and uh, yeah as I said I wanted to what am I looking for I'm looking for a number I don't have many many left in there so excuse me that will do I've gotten really lazy with my fussy cutting I now don't really cut anything out until I'm ready to use it, <laughs> not properly anyway. I don't know if it's saving me time or what, but um, it certainly so saves the overwhelm when it comes to, um, you know, how many, you know, when you get a sheet of labels or something and uh, you know that you want to use them, but there's just so many on the sheet and it's just, oh, look, for me, it's just very overwhelming. Um, yeah, I get a little bit overwhelmed by it all whoops so um you know I've gotten into habit of doing it that way and then cutting it down properly when I want to use it so I do think I'm going to add a butterfly I didn't think I was going to but I don't think that number has finished off quite in the way that I wanted just looking for yep let's try that one So yeah, definitely with this type of embellishment, don't overthink things. Um, you know, a bit rich coming from me because I'm the queen of overthinking. <laughs> but you know, they're definitely a lot more, a lot more fun. And oh, what am I trying to do? <laughs> I need to take the cap off. Uh, a lot more fun and carefree when you don't, um, you don't overthink it. So I will, I will link Tanya's channel. Uh, down below in case you've not uh, not come across her as I say um, she does this type of embellishment a lot so if you like to see the pro doing it then um, she's definitely the lady to check out so I'm thinking word for that one wasn't I yep 
Yep, that will do. How are we doing? Yeah, not too, not too bad. Should really get some some butterflies out in a minute because <laughs> I've got a whole pile there that uh, apparently want butterflies. There you go. Um, they do want inking, but um, right. And then we've got a load of vellum ones, which I think a lot of these are going to want um, numbers on them. I think. So I think I will pause there because you get the idea. I'm going to go through and just pop um, the numbers down on these because I think that's that's all that's left really. As I say, I'm just um, going where my staple is you know, to cover that up as best I can anyway. Sometimes I won't completely cover it, but that's fine. Um, and then once I've got you on pause, I'll cut out some butterflies and get those others finished. And uh, then I can remind you what we've got. Okay, so I'll see you in a tick. Alrighty, I've chosen some butterflies and all of that, so it was just a case of finding the right colours and sizes to go with them. Uh, this one I'm going to add a word to as well, just because I felt like it wanted a little bit more. So you're going to go there. So these will be for a variety of different projects rather than just the ones that I'm currently working on. Um, should we have you somewhere there? I'm trying not to push it all the way down because I want the wings to be, you know, a little bit up in the air. There we go. So yeah, I'm really liking how, you know, different they all are and things. Um, you know, different sizes, colours. Well, yeah, this will suit me for, for a while. And as I said, it was just um just a case of wanting to get those these little bo bits and bobs used up because otherwise some of these things can just sit in your stash forever or at least they can with me anyway um, because you know now that's definitely a page embellishment so, um, whereas or it can even be a little a little tuck if I wanted it whereas before these were kind of all just a mishmash of different just bits um, and yeah it can be difficult to know what to do with them sometimes. So this one, I'm going to add a floral flower somewhere there. And I can always add, you know, if I feel like things want words or labels, I can always add add more to them later. Um, but for now, it feels good to oops, good to um, yeah, get these made. Made a whole bunch. This will definitely they'll keep me going for a long time, won't they? And uh, I do like the butterflies because um, often, you know, when they're this sort of size, their um, their bodies completely cover up the staple. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, you could probably even if you don't mind the staple showing and you like using butterflies in your projects, you could probably even staple, you know, through the butterfly's body. Um, if you wanted it to look like that. Um, where are we going? About there. So yeah, all these tickets and picture things just became, you know, a fun little background to use, to decorate. <laughs> I hope you see what I mean though about giving them a chance you know, when you first staple the bits together, it can look a little bit like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> um, but then once you finish them off with all the little bits and bobs that you want to add, um, you know, it, it does really make a difference and it does, um, you know, they do end up really looking like something lovely, in my opinion. Whoops. As I say, completely inspired by Tanya from Tetra Treasure. Um, you know, obviously we have different supplies, so we will do things differently when we follow people. But um, but yeah, very much 
very much inspired by by her. There you go. And I mean this, like this um this back piece, this was actually from uh, some packaging. Uh, I got an Edith Holden like country diary writing set, um, and that's what that's from. And yeah, no, as I say, I'm just gonna glue that down whilst I'm talking. Um as I say, um I wouldn't have known really what to do with it, but it becomes, you know, the base of your cluster. And then that's you done. It's something used. So I felt like this one wanted, you know, a, a nice bright blue. That vellum is slightly pinky toned, so that's just, um, you know, brightened it up a little bit, I think. <clears throat> Um, so this one I added a label to. I, I did that with you, didn't I? Oh, I can't remember. I think I did. I'll show them all to you anyway in a minute. Where are we going? There. They do want inking, but um, and then this one. This was basically just that uh, that torn piece that I I made uh, for one of my digitals. So. I found a butterfly for it, um, but then I felt like maybe we wanted to add a label to it. I think in the smaller one. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then again, you know, because that was just sitting in my stash, just just being thing to use and you don't really know what to do with these things sometimes but then as soon as you just decorate them that's it they're a, a finished thing that you can well in this case it's um it's printed on cards so that could be a little tuck spot but equally it could decorate a tag or a pocket or a page you name it so as I say they do want inking but I'll bring them up so, should we count as we go? <laughs> That's three. <laughs> yeah, I like these. These will keep me going for ages. I've lost count already. <laughs> That's seven. Nice big one, that. I'm counting in my head, that's why I've gone quiet. <laughs> Can you believe how many we've made? I believe that's 20. My goodness. And 21 if you count my, um, you know, my little, uh, <laughs> my little prototype. Gosh. And yeah, I've been here, well, about an, well, about 45 minutes, which is not too shabby, I think. That's pretty good. So, yeah, you'll see these crop up in various journals, probably. Um, as I said, I want to ink around um, some of the, the bits and bobs, uh, which I'll do I'll do, do later. Um, but, yeah, these can decorate pages, pockets, tags, um, notebook covers, all, all manner of things. Um, but for the biggest thing, it, it moves all these little piddly bits it moves them on into being something that you can you can then use um, rather than always having to think at the time what can I what can I do with it so um, as I said inspiration very much from Tanya from Teddy Treasure for doing this kind of a cluster embellishment type piece um, I hope that you enjoyed watching I hope that you'll consider giving them a go as I said Tanya's channel is linked below um, she does these often so you'll find lots of different themes that she does this for um this type of thing and i really need to get into the habit of doing it myself because it's a great way to use up um, as i said all those all those little bits and bobs so thank you so much for joining me i hope you got something out of today and i will speak to you very very soon bye bye for now <laughs>